To the joy of music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a musical journey of Switzerland featuring a musical visit to the Einzidel Monastery in Switzerland. Thank you for joining us. Our musical journey of Switzerland takes us to the famous Swiss Abbey of Einsiedeln. The Abbey of Maria Einsiedeln is a well-known Swiss pilgrimage destination in the high valley between Lake Lucerne and Lake Zurich. The Abbey has been a major focus of culture and is considered one of the outstanding achievements of Vorarlberg Baroque architecture. The Abbey draws thousands of visitors each year who come to see not only the monastery, but the Chapel of Grace with its Black Virgin. Visitors are also taken with the pastoral setting of the monastery in the rich valley. Most recently, the entire Einsiedel Monastery has been restored, bringing out even more of its former beauty and ornamentation.
The Abbey of Einsiedeln dates back to 934, but the present building was designed by the famous Kasper Moosbrugger, who lived between 1656 to 1723. The buildings of the monastery cover over 40,000 square yards, and the twin towers can be seen far into the countryside. The ceiling of the church is a feast for the eyes, with the largest fresco in Switzerland. The special chapel of grace where the carved wooden Black Virgin resides was destroyed by the French in 1798, but rebuilt in 1815. The library of the Abbey is an essential part of life in the Einsiedeln Monastery. The core of the library is the Bible, surrounded by other books of spirituality and theology, history, law, natural sciences, and even medicine. The library holds 1,230 manuscripts, 1,100 early prints, and over 230,000 printed volumes. Here at the Einsiedeln Monastery in Switzerland, we are speaking with Father Urban, 
who is the guest master of the monastery. This is one of the most magnificent monasteries that we have ever seen. And we would like to know perhaps some of the uh, history. Okay. Well, in the ninth century, well, more than a thousand years ago, there was one man living here. His name was Meinrad. And we, he was a hermit. And Einsiedel means hermitage. So at the beginning, there was only one man living here, some hermits around. And it was not before 934 that the monastery was founded as a Benedictine monastery. And since then, we always uh, we have been existing. Now, we have heard that this is especially known for the Black Madonna. Yes. Could, could you give us just a short uh, resume about that, or mm -hmm. short history? At the beginning, the Madonna was not black. Over the centuries, she became black mm -hmm. because with all the candles and the incense and so, she was more and more black. And after the French Revolution, they wanted to restore her. And she had red lips and everything. And people said, well, this is not our Madonna. She was black. So they painted her black. I understand that many hundreds, even thousands of people uh, walk here from other countries. We have different types of pilgrims coming to Einsiedel, uh -huh. but they normally they stay for one or two or three days here. That's why we have so many hotels oh, in the, yes. uh, the town, because there are so many pilgrims coming. I would think you would invite people to come and see this magnificent oh, place. Yes, and there were always Americans coming here. You yes. know, as we founded monasteries uh, in the United States, especially St. Minard in southern Indiana, and we have a good relationship. This summer again, we send one of our younger monks to St. Minard. He will study there for one year, and they sometimes they come here, you know, to make their vacations. We have so good connections to the United States. It's it's already for that that you should come here because when you go over the place in the United States, St. Minard, Marmion Abbey, it's close to Chicago, there is a monastery in the south, uh, south of um, California, and they all have the statue of Our Lady of Einsiedel. So um, when you come here, you will see what you can see also in the United States, but you will, you will see the original statue. Can you just tell us what do the monks do here? What is their uh, priority and what kind of work do they do? Mm -hmm. The priority is the liturgy. That means we start in the morning at 5.30 with the first prayer and we end at 8 o'clock in the evening with the last prayer. In between we have other prayers, we have mass and everybody has its has his own work. So I'm a teacher, I go to school to teach, others have to do their work within the house here. But um, because of the liturgy, we deal a lot with music. You know, we mm -hmm. sing, we, we, we sing with Gregorian chants, yes. and we have good organists in our monastery. I know monastery. You and we have an orchestra, we have a choir, a mixed choir, a man choir. Mm -hmm. And so during the whole year with the liturgy of, for example, Holy Week and Easter, there we put a lot of, um, of energy into, into, into the, the music, yes. Yeah. Your motto is, is Ora Labora, yes. which is pray and work. Pray and work, yes. So all of what you do is to glorify the Lord in your work. Yes. And that is your priority, I think. That is a priority. And as Einsiedel is a pilgrimage place, we want to share that with people coming here. So everybody who comes here, they should take something from this joy of this building of the yeah. church. Take them, that's to their heart, and bring it at home. That's wonderful. Thank you so much Thank for you. being with us. It's Here in the Einsiedel Monastery, there is not one organ, but three different instruments. The one on the side of the nave is 66 stops. The one on the other side of the nave is 33. And the core organ or choir organ is 30 stops. All three instruments date back to the 1700s and have been added to and restored just recently. 
In our taping here at the Einsiedel Monastery, you might hear some background noises during the music. We were not able to close the church during the daytime, so there were workers who had to stop while we played, and there were also visitors from around the world walking through the great sanctuary. Not far from the front gates or square of the Einsiedeln Abbey is the Bethlehem Diorama, a representation of the manger of Bethlehem with over 500 carved wooden figures. It is the largest crush in the world.
Although Einsiedeln is a Catholic monastery, the reformer Ulrich Zwingli was for a time a secular priest at the Abbey. In 1639, the Abbey was used for the first peace negotiations between France and Bavaria during the Thirty Years' War.
Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a musical journey of Switzerland with a special visit to the Einsiedel Monastery in this magnificent country. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Thank you.